In this video, we're going to explore the transform tools inside of Photoshop. So I'm working on a cool little texture for a wooden crate model that I'm making over in Moto, but I want to add some, some decals, some logos onto my little wooden crate. So I went online to my favorite re uh, resource, cgtextures.com, and I found this image of a little biohazard symbol that I want to put on my little wooden crate. So let's, uh, let's combine this layer from this Photoshop document over into my other one. So here's a cool little trick. I'm in the Move tool, and if I simply grab the image, and i got to select the layer first, there we go. If I grab the image and hover over the other tab, I then can place it where I want to have it over here in my other document. So a handy dandy way of working within multiple tabs. And as you can see here on layer 78, here's my biohazard uh, symbol, but it's way too big. I need to make it much, much smaller. Thus enter the role of the transform tools inside of Photoshop. To find all the transform tools inside of Photoshop, it's really easy. Just go to the top of the screen where it says edit, and here they are, the transform tools. And as you can see, we have a number of different options that we can transform, including the scale, which is just a fancy word for size. We can rotate my image, we can skew it, and, 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 a, and a number of other things. So let's just grab the scale handles and the moment I do, you can see that I get a little bounding box around that layer, and at each corner of the bounding box, there's a little there's a little square, and I got one on the uh, the left, right, top, bottom portions of the bounding box, and these little squares will allow me to uh, to scale this image down quite a bit. Now we can, if I grab the ones on the side, I can disproportionately scale this layer, okay? Um, but I want to uniformly scale this layer. I want it to keep to stay uh, stay the same proportions, just a little bit smaller. So that's where these little corner guys come into play. If I hold down the shift key and grab on this little corner square, check it out. Now I can uniformly scale that layer up and down. When I'm happy with it, I can just place that image uh, where I want it to go, which is another really cool thing about the transform tools is that not only can we move and rotate and scale it around, but I can also move it into my new location. So that's pretty cool. As with most things in Photoshop, after we make the edit, we have to confirm the edit. So I'm just going to click on the check mark. There we go. And you can see where it's living. In addition, if we go back to that same location, so transform, I can also rotate it you know, 180 degrees if I wanted to. Hit undo real fast. So definitely check this out. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. We can even flip it vertically, which is kind of like rotating 180 degrees, or we can flip it horizontally. Now, what I like to do personally is that I like to do the edit free transform, okay? This uh, keyboard shortcut is Command T, T as in Tango, or transform, and what we get with the free transform tool is basically that same bounding box. In addition to being able to change the scale of it, if I place my cursor just outside the bounding box like this, check it out. You can see that my cursor changes to a little curved up and down arrow, and I can rotate it, okay? which is very, very cool. Now, I want to draw your attention to the options up here at the top. All of these options are going to affect the way the free transform tool is going to influence our image. So, of course, we have some, some position sliders here. I can change the X and Y position of this element on screen. I can also interactively change the height and the width. Okay, and here's kind of a great hidden Mickey about working inside of Photoshop. If I place my cursor on the letter H, for example, my cursor is going to change to a little hand with a left right arrow. That represents that this value is now a slider. Okay, so I can just left click and drag and interactively change that value in that in that little box. Okay. Um, also, I can link the horizontal and uh, uh, excuse me, the width and height percentages here by clicking on the little chain link, and now I can uniformly scale that bad boy up. If I wanted to rotate my, my guy at a, along a very specific parameter, I could do so. Maybe I want to do it 45 degrees or, or, I don't know, 66 degrees or something, you know, whatever. You can have fun with that. This is also a slider, so we can also interactively rotate this element, which is pretty cool. There we go. Wonderful. And then these guys over here are going to, uh, let me, I'm going to go back in time real fast, because I think that, that last one will be more uh, more obvious if I just go back. So free transform once again. So these last two are slants, okay? Yeah, there we go. So we can kind of warp and slant this image along a number of values. We get both a horizontal and a vertical 
slant, okay? So we can start to establish some of the perspective, uh, or if we have perspective in our in our art, we can establish that with these, these slants. So basically what we're doing with the free transform tool is that we're taking almost all of these options right in here, and we're boiling it down into one tool. So I'm a big fan, big, big fan of this Command-T, the free transform tool, because it allows us to very quickly go in and change the shapes uh, of our of our layers without a lot having to go into menus and we get a keyboard shortcut which I also like so it's a great it's a great great addition to the Photoshop workflow so command T free transform it's gonna be your best friend